It's the Real Instance of Browns fan here, tuning in, talking about our last game against the Bengals. End of the season, no playoffs, but I'm going to just go ahead and get it off all on this pregame video. And maybe I'll do another video um, at the end, um, in the middle of the season, obviously a draft video or whatever. <clears throat> and whatever video I guess I feel fit. All right, so first and foremost, there's been a lot of drama going on. Talks of Baker Mayfield wanting to leave. I heard it. Other people heard it. I don't want to believe that Mary Kay is lying anymore because, I mean, when she was saying the stuff about Odell, it's been truthful and to the part where she said Odell was coming here to even to the part where Odell was talking about he didn't want to leave or he wanted to leave and all that stuff ended up happening. That ended up being what the case was. So to an extent, I believe her story is valid. However, Baker coming out publicly stating that he never said those words is what I wanted to see. I'm glad I got to see that. I'm glad that he did that because he's letting us know, like, hey, he cleared the air. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, like, Odell leaving it linger, Baker cleared the air. Now, it's been a lot of things going on, like, as far as, like, oh, Baker not going to be with the Browns or the Browns don't want Baker. I'm going to state up, state up, state it right now. Like, I made this channel because of Baker. So, if Baker's not on the Browns no more, I retire. I'll quit. Straight up. Now, I'm still a Browns fan regardless, but but this is supposed to be our journey. You know what I'm saying? So, if he ain't here, then I'm not here. You know what I mean? There's other great channels out there. I do like doing this. I like talking about the Browns. But, like I said, if my dude Bake's not here, I can't do it. He got to get better, and I believe he will, man. I mean, you look at all those other greats that he has as far as, like, Peyton Manning and the other – there was, like, a list of, like, Peyton Manning and and I think Jim Thorpe or some some shit, and um, I thought that was a safety, but whatever. Um, and it was a few others on that list. I can't remember who all was on there, but <clears throat> where Baker got the same record as far as, like, the first five years. I mean, Peyton Manning alone, like, I never really thought Peyton Manning was that great. I knew that he knew how to do pre-snap very good. Like, he knew what was going to happen before it happened, which made him be that great. But, um, you know, can Baker get there? I, you will hope so. You hope that he'd be able to understand the offense. I mean, he was, you know, uh, missing a lot of reads. Uh, speed of the game is maybe too fast for him. So, which brings me to this. Um so, obviously, the Bengals, they got their quarterback situation. I never thought – I never knew. I didn't think that Joe Burrow would be this nice. He's this nice. And it leads me to think, like, you know, it was amazing what he did. You know, he said, no, don't get me a lineman. I'm, I'm young. I'm going to be okay. I can stem these plays. Give me my receiver. Get me Chase Young. They get him Chase Young and look at him now champions of the AFC North, division champs. So I was thinking, like, we should do the same thing with Baker. And I know I'm already ahead of the game, but I'm going to just go ahead and put it out there. I know that um, uh, Doug Lay Maurice, he was, you know, uh, champion for um, uh, Garrett Wilson or Wilson Garrett. I don't know his name. Either one, the one from Ohio State. Um, he's from Ohio. For one, and he played at Lake Travis, the high school that Baker played. So I definitely think you need to get him. And I'm, like, tempted to say, like, get two of the top receivers. Get him and the other dude from Alabama that transferred from Ohio State. They already know each other. They already got a relationship. You know, why not kind of have them bring them here together? You know, they already know how to play with each other. So And they both – we need speed on the outside, so get as many speed guys as possible. Because I remember, like, all right, it's no different than when some of them teams drafted two quarterbacks in one draft. You know what I'm saying? So why can't like, – and it's, it's go time now. So whatever draft capital that we <sighs> – draft capital. That's toughy because these are hit and miss, man. I know, like, I'm talking big smack now. like, But if there's a way possible that we can get those two receivers, it's like we might as well do it now. You know what I'm saying? Might as well get young, cheap talent. Um – first round talent on top of that 
like I said, the one already playing with Alabama, and you know he's uh <clears throat> he's showing his, he's flourishing and showing that he can take take the top off of defenses. And then, like I said, Garrett Wilson um, also. So like if we got those dude two dudes, and then we draft Haskell Garrett. I mean, I'm cool with just three picks because I mean, last time he was having a hard time just finding out who was gonna make the team or not. So let alone, we don't need to have all those draft picks. I mean, I get it. Maybe not right now, but I don't know. We need to win right now. So if if we just a few receivers away, then do that. <clears throat> um, should we get it on the lineman? I don't know. See, that's the bad thing about it is, like, between Joe and Baker is that Joe showed, like, look, I don't need to have a great line to win. For Baker to succeed, it's like he needs to have a clean pocket and everything. And I, I know that's my dude. I know I'm talking about it, but – so that's where it, it goes into a little bit as far as, like, if we're talking about contracts. I mean, if you want to sign them right now, you might as well sign them while I'd be low and just commit to them for the future. And we just know that we're just going to put everything into it because it ain't no sense of doing this over again. It really is not. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if Baker's gone, I'm gone. I mean, whatever they want to do, I'm still be a fan regardless, but but I can't I can't do this without Bake. So, so he needs to get better and um, – and he got to be able to – to they got to figure it out, you know, this offense or whatever, the play calling, because there's no way that he should be getting the ball as bad at like he is when Kyler Murray isn't getting batted at all. So that's either in, in the indictment on the play calling or <clears throat> Baker just not being that good. But I'm not going to say that he's not that good because, like I said, he I've seen enough for him to – we just need – to put a better, better team around him, which is the reason why his contract's not going to be that good because to get, like, the Patrick Mahomes and the Lamar Jacksons, like, you got to be able to carry a team without a line, without – I mean, obviously, Patrick Mahomes got Travis Kelsey and he got <clears throat> Tyreek Hill. So that would definitely make a difference if you ain't got an offensive line. But we had Odell and we had we, – we still got Juice. So, I mean, not saying that, like, Odell got Tyreek burners, you know what I'm saying, but – Hooper and everything. I mean, the time has just been off as far as the passing game. And um, like I said, I'm going I'm to put most of it, I'm going to put most of the blame on Baker because you're the quarterback. Get the fucking ball there. That's it. Just make it an easy catch. Make it easy. So for that, I'm going to put it on Baker, but also I'm going to put it on Kev too because, because I feel that he might need, I don't know. See, it's hard for me to say. Because I don't really know what the process is today. You know, I only go off of what the media is saying. And they really don't know anything either because they're not down there. But if they doing collaborations, basically whatever they're doing ain't working. They need to just go ahead and – Kevin need to go ahead and hand it up to, to AVP, I feel. I feel. The reason why I feel that is because I feel like AVP is more aggressive. And I feel like that's how Kev got where he got. You know what I'm saying? If, if you – like, you know what I'm saying? You got where you got because some uh, head coach trusts you with the play calling. You know what I'm saying? While the other dude fell back. So you should be able to be able to do the same thing. Just trust the other person with the play calling while you fall back and do the head coaching duties. Don't try to do both. Because, I mean, this was – I know I'm going back to old shit, and I'm past that. I'm past that. Kev's our guy. But it goes back to what I said in the beginning, right when I didn't want to hire him before, when I wanted Sayla at the time, was because how bad they got blown out that game. And then they hired Kev, like, out of nowhere, you know. And I just felt like it was impatient, felt like it was a bad move. They didn't weigh it out. Obviously, he got coached the year, we made the playoffs. But look at us now. Like, we're already, we done, we done fig, been figured out. Now, whether they figured out Kevin or whether they figured out Ke uh, Baker, Baker has missed a lot of throws, yes. He has not been able to manipulate the defense with his eyes, no. And the West Coast offense, yes, is hard to run to me, I think. So they need more of a spread, you know, spreading people out type of offense for Baker so that obviously he could make his reads, but, like, you know, it's not everybody not so close where he got to feel like he ain't going to have enough time to throw it in there. Because, I, I, like, with West Coast offense, it's all about timing. Like, and manipulation. Timing and manipulation. Like, you cannot just rely on the other people's talents or just people being open all the time unless Kev is a great 
uh, play caller where he just draws it up so good where people are able to score like that. I, that's why I say give it to AVP because AVP, the times that AVP did call the games, when we beat the Steelers that one time, it was aggressive. They played aggressive, and, and that's what, like, I think I want to see out of the offense is, like, movement and aggressiveness and all that other stuff. But, like I said, I don't know what the process is anyway as it is, so maybe he does get enough of the, um, you know, of say-so as far as, like, the play calling and stuff. But whatever they're doing right now or just this past year, it ain't working. But we'll see what happens against the Bengals, see Case Keenum. Now, if Case Keenum ball out, people are going to be upset. But it is what it is, man. Baker's our future. I'm taking – that's what I'm saying, man. I'm I'm willing to sign him now. We can wait till later, and that way we can make his contract based off of uh, performance base, make it a real base salary, like, real small, like – Something that shows, like, bro, like, we, we, this is what we feeling like as far as what you contribute to the offense. Now, you can make more based off of performance based stuff, but you're not carrying, you're not carrying the offensive linemen, you're not carrying these, the receivers. They more so, you need them to play good. So, so because of that, because that's what you're showing, is that we need other people to play around you, play good. You're not going to get as much money because, because when those things aren't there, then we have nothing. You know what I'm saying? So we got to keep these things around you so that we can be successful. Unless you can go over here and show us that you can carry a team like a Patrick or like a, I always say Patrick, like a uh, Aaron Rodgers, like a, shit, I don't know. I mean, I I don't know if you want to say Kyler's carrying the team or not. I think some of it is Cliff Kingsbury and Kyler just already being familiar with the system. So they got to get Kev and AVP. They got to be able to find a system for for, for Baker where it's going to work too because cause ain't no sense in wasting this first-round pick. He's been a pretty good quarterback for a first-round pick. You know what I'm saying? Has been great. Has been great since his beginning of the year. Shit, do we need to bring the Ty Haley offense back? You know, was that was that the thing? I mean, the Ty Haley offense? I mean, it's proven it's been successful. I mean, no, he hasn't. I don't know if he's coaching now or not, but, I mean, when he was with the Steelers, they used to have – a pretty damn good offense, and now that they don't got Ty Haley no more, they haven't been the same. Uh, but shit, you know what I'm saying? Think, think about that. You know who, who knows? You know what I mean? Because I mean I don't know, because I'm not in there. But nonetheless, <sighs> so it's it's a lot of things that we gotta kind of unpack. You know what I mean? Like I said about Juice, like I feel so bad, like what what what's going on with him? Like I'm like, do we keep him? He didn't do anything to get cut or for us to not believe in him because I think most of the reason why his decline has been happening is because of Baker. But also at the same time, he hasn't been helping himself either. He's been dropping passes too, so it's kind of both ways on that one. And I just feel like with the whole Odell thing, like I kind of feel like they should go play with each other. You know, I think it was a good thing while they was here. I, I, I'm sad that it didn't work out. For that, I know I would cut him. Cause I know he's gonna find a job really quick. Am I hurt about it? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Cause he was the one that was trying to. He was turning it around. You know, as far as like just the mentality, dog mentality. You know, fight, always fighting. But 30 years old, I don't want his career to. I I care about him too much for his career to just be nothing. Like I still want him to have a Hall of Fame career, and it just seems like him and I'm I'm putting everything in the Baker. And I'm, but I'm loving everybody else as far as like his pieces, especially the older ones. You know what I'm saying? People that already been established, but now it's like they kind of taking a decline. You want to say Austin Hooper? Austin Hooper's getting money right now, so it's juice. But it, it looking like because of the production, which isn't his fault that he's not worth the 15 mil. You know what I'm saying? So, and instead of me just like restructuring his contract, which I don't believe he deserves at all, I might might as well just go ahead and cut him and let him get his money elsewhere but I preferably would like to see him stay I like him to get it, him and Baker together but I'm not going to bet, bet on that because I, I feel like with the Baker thing it's going to take some time we might need <clears throat> should we just leave on bail on him I don't think so I just think that we might as well invest in our future Baker was our future he was our number one pick until he get to us where we a top 10 pick again 
in the draft, like where we at that that type of level where we're that bad, where we're in the top ten, then you can, can take into consideration like Baker just not it. You know what I'm saying? Because of the team that we have around him. And it's like, bro, if you can't pull this team together, then I don't know who else – I mean, who couldn't? You know what I'm saying? Like, so we're not going to stay with you, but it's really up to him at this point. As long as we're not a top ten pick, I think that's, that's like bottom half of the league. That's like basically starting back from where we're at because then you're not going to be too far from having a lower pick than the top ten. So, so yeah, it's a lot. I mean, I can talk about it a little bit later. I will probably talk about it a little bit later. Um, later in the season, I haven't did a brownie cookies and water episode since the Odell shit. So I'm going to just, uh, I've just been trying to stay away because the season just been such a disaster that, you know, I don't want to be negative, but I'm going to just start speaking what's on my heart. And I, I hate that. It seems like I'm coming at my players, but I'm just, I have to say something. I have to say something and, and let it be what it is. So, um, as far as like the Bengals, this one, I really don't care. Um, I mean, I hope we win, but at the same time, if we lose, we get maybe a higher draft pick, but that means we're way, way below average, which I want us to win. I want Case Keenan to win. I want the team to win. I want us to win, leave on a good note instead of being on a bad note of a loss. So hopefully we can do that, and uh, I'll talk more after the game, and, and we'll see. The Real Uncensored.